Hello everybody, it's time for literacy now. Think about the animals in Farmyard Hullabaloo. All of the animals on the farm. I'm going to play you some animal sounds now and you have got to guess which animal it is. Okay, are you ready? Are your ears clean? Okay, first sound please. <coughs> you say cow? Well done. Next sound. <coughs> Did you say pig? Good. Next sound. <coughs> I think I've got this one. Did you say duck? Excellent. Next sound. <coughs> Got it. Chickens. And last one. <coughs> yep. Horse. Well done, everybody. Sometimes on a farm, you can hear noises but they're not necessarily animals. Have a look at the picture on the front of the book. What else is in that picture that might make noise on a farm? Did you say tractor? Fantastic, well done. I'm going to show you some machinery that's used on a farm. Here we go, farm vehicles. So my favourite, the tractor. Tractor. So the tractor is very slow, but it's very, very strong. It's really good at driving through all of the thick, oozy mud. It's very strong for pushing things. It's very strong for pulling things. The combine harvester. The combine harvester has great big blades on the front and it's used for chopping down and gathering all of the grain, especially at harvest time. This is a cultivator. The cultivator has big, spiky, they're a bit like teeth. Can you see them? And they make lots of grooves in the soil to plant the seeds. A bale wrapper does exactly what it says. So these are very, very large bales of hay and this machine uses the white plastic to wrap them because it would take a very long time and be very, very difficult for a person to do it. So you may see those when you're out driving or if you've been to a farm. Sprayer. So there's the tractor there, but this part is the sprayer and what that does is sprays different chemicals onto the plants to stop the bugs eating them. And this one says livestock trailer and this part at the back is used to transport livestock so things like horses or cows and they stand in the back there it's tall enough so they can stand up when they're taken around on the farm or taken to different farms my favorite is the tractor i want you to watch this little video tractors are used a lot down on the farm they come in lots of sizes. Tractors are used to pull heavy loads. They can be used to fill machines for planting and picking, or to move crops around. Tractors have big engines, much bigger than a car engine. The engines give the tractor power to pull heavy things. Tractors have very big wheels at the back. The tyres have deep ridges on them. The ridges are called the tread of the tyre. And they help stop the tractor sinking into the soft mud in the fields. Tractors don't travel very fast, but they're very useful.
today we're going to make our own tractors. You'll need this sheet. I'm going to need scissors, glue and these are called split pins. You should have at least two in your pack and they're called split pins because they're a pin that splits. I'm going to start by cutting out my tractor and cutting out my wheels. See, I've left a little white edge on mine and it just helps me because usually I'd cut the lights off and cut parts of what I wanted to keep off so I just leave a little white trim around the edge. This is very very fiddly you may need to ask an adult to help you. Over the arch of the wheel lots of twisting and turning Make sure you're careful with your scissors. Okay, that's my tractor. Now for the wheels. On the wheels there's a little line. Can you see a little line there? I'm going to cut round that. My cutting might be a little bit quicker than yours, but I've been cutting for much, much longer. Let's chop this round. That's one wheel. Do tractors have two wheels? No, they have four, but we've only got one side of the tractor. Set down the edge there. Okay. Okay, I don't need those anymore. So there's my wheels and my tractor. Now, which way round do they go? Um, I'm not really sure which way round they go. Oh. That would be a very wonky tractor. Ah, the arch at the back is bigger, isn't it? There it is. My next job is to stick my tractor, just my tractor, to the card. So you'll just need to get a piece of card or a piece of paper. There's my tractor. But I'm not going to stick my wheels on with glue. I'm going to attach them with my split pins. It's easier if you have something like Play-Doh or Blue Tack underneath your card. And then you'll poke your pin through the paper, through the card and into the Blue Tack and it will make sure that you don't hurt your fingers. Okay, line them up. You might need an adult to help you with this bit if your card is very, very stiff. Can you see I've poked that through? Can you see that coming underneath there? Push that bit down and then you turn it over and this is where you split the pin. But you need to be very, very careful. Ask an adult to help you if you need it. Okay, that's one done. Okay, let's try the next wheel. So blue tack underneath. Little wheel at the front. And split the pin. I need to make sure I can feel that blue tack underneath. And then I pierce the centre of the wheel. Push that through. Ew, look at the blue tack. I'm glad that wasn't my finger. And then split the pin. And there is my tractor. But why did we use split pins and not glue? Because the wheels on the tractor need to turn round. The split pin allows your paper to move and your wheels can go round and round and round. Do you think you can manage to make a tractor all by yourselves? Remember to ask for help with the split pins because they are quite fiddly. My favourite farmyard vehicle is the tractor. Did you like the combine harvester? that gathers and cuts all of the grains? Did you like the bale wrapper that wraps up all of the hay in plastic? Did you like the livestock trailer that may be full of horses? 
I think that one was probably quite popular. Soon I hope that we can go outside again and go and visit farms and see lots of animals. That would be really, really good, wouldn't it? Okay, good luck with your tractors and I'll see you very soon for maths.